Isa sa mga pangunahing laman ng balita ngayon sa ating bansa ay ang war on drugs ng ating presidente, Rodrigo Duterte. Ikinatuwa ito yung nakakarami dahil sa paniniwalang tapos na ang paghahari ng mga pinuno ng illegal na droga. Ngunit, ang pagkumpisa sa pagsugpo ng droga ay ang umpisa rin sa kabila ang pagpatay sa ating bansa. Pero, hindi ito naghihad lang sa Pangulo upang sugpuin ang illegal na droga. Kasalukuyang ipinoproseso ngayon ang muling pagpapatupad ng death penalty na magiging hatol ng korte sa sinumang masangkot sa illegal na droga. Ito ang Tomasian Views, Church and State on Death Penalty. Isusulong ni Davao City Mayor Rodrigo Duterte ang pagbabalik ng parusang kamatayan para sa hinus crimes gaya ng rape, murder at illegal na droga. Lusot na sa ikalawang pagbasa ng Kamara Panukalang ibalik ang parusang kamatayan. Pero ipapataw lang yan sa mga krimen konektado sa droga. 2016, ang taong umusbong ang administrasyon Duterte kung saan kasabay nito ang pag-usbong ng mga iba't ibang kontemporaryong isyu pumapalibot sa ating bansa. Isa na dito ang pagbalik ng parusang kamatayan. Subalit, ano nga ba ang death penalty? Death penalty means termination of life of a convicted uh, person. So one has to be uh, convicted first before one can undergo death penalty. But the present laws now do not allow execution or death penalty at the moment. But the Constitution uh, provides that the uh, death penalty may be imposed by Congress or law may be enacted by Congress to impose death penalty, but only for heinous crimes. Under the revised bill for the death penalty, is the ultimate penalty that could be imposed upon a person for some serious crimes committed. And basically, as the term implies, means that the life of a person would now be put to an end by human beings, not technically by any act that is beyond the control of man. It is an act that is usually done by man itself. That's why it is a penalty. Ang context kasi, death penalty is a allowed way of killing people. That's a legal way of killing people. You kill somebody under the law, it's prohibited. But with the death penalty, it's allowed. Death penalty is in legislation. Huh? It is something that Congress, in our case, no, the lower and the higher House of Congress, and then um, uh, they act, they enact a law that is signed by the president. So that becomes a law of the land. That certain um, crimes are to be punished by execution of the uh, of the guilty party execution can be made by hanging that is seldom done nowadays can be done by electric chair can be done by lethal injection which is the usual way of administering Uh, the execution nowadays. Bago pa man dumating ang mga Espanyol, ang mga katutubong Pilipino ay mayroong sariling batas at proseso ng paghahatol ng mga kaparusahan. Ito ay tinatawag na trial by ordeal. Upang malaman kung sino ang tunay na may sala, kailangan nilang sumalang sa iba't ibang mga pagsubok. Kung sino man ang unang sumuko o magpakita ng kainaan, ang tunay na may kasalanan. Ilan sa mga parusa ay ang paglubog ng kamay sa kumukulong tubig, pagmuya ng hilaw na kanin, pagsisit sa ilalim ng dagat at marami pang iba. 1521 nang dumating ang mga Espanyol sa Pilipinas at itinatag ang penal system kung saan ipinatupad ang death penalty sa pamamagitan ng pagbitay, garote, firing squad at iba pa sa mga kumakalaban sa panunungkulan ng mga Espanyol. Si Jose Rizal, ang ating pambansang bayani, ay inakasahan bilang pinuno ng katipunan. Kaya hinutulan ng kamatayan sa mga mamagitan ng firing squad sa bagong bayan noong 1896. Sina Padre Gomez, Burgos, at Zamora, ang mga katolikong pari na inakasahan na sangkot sa Cavite Mutiny at ipinapatay sa mga mamagitan ng paggarote. If you look at the Philippine Constitution, the Constitution provides, there's a specific provision in the Philippine Constitution which speaks of death penalty. 
and in 1986, the death penalty is uh, extinguished from all our laws. Prior to 1986, there have been instances in our law where the death penalty was imposed. We're talking about the death penalty law. It was in, reimposed in, 20, in during the time of President uh, Ramos. At the time, it was reimposed, and then uh, it was again repealed during the time of um, Gloria Arroyo. Now they want to impose it, and our media made of journalists who do not make their proper research bring in the church and the state question. Mm -hmm. So I repeat, this is not a church and a state question. This is a question of whether we will follow the ethics and morality of barbarians or of people in the Middle Ages or of the people in the past century or we will move on. We will uh, agree with the moralists and the ethicists that human life is of such value that you should not uh, legislate the killing of uh, people. So if you look at history, there's a shifting of uh, law in terms of the imposition of the death penalty. Now the question to you as students is why is there a shift? Why is there the constant change of imposing, reimposing, and imposing the death penalty? Why cannot there be a consistent statement saying that uh, there should not be any death penalty? Ang Universidad ng Santo Tomas, ang unang katolikong universidad sa Pilipinas na itinatag noong 1611. Kilala sila sa pagkakaroon ng kakayahan, kahabagan at pangako. Sila ay nariwanagan sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya. Kilala rin ang mga Tomasino sa pagkakaroon ng malasakit sa kapwa, kagalingan at dedikasyon. Hindi lang kapwa Tomasino ang turing nila sa isa't isa, kung hindi, sila rin ay magkakapamilya. Galing sa iba't ibang rehilyon, probinsya, lahi, ngunit iisa pa rin sila. Batay sa kanilang kaugalian, Naniniwala ang universidad na hindi solusyon ang pagtupad ng death penalty sa pagtaas ng krimen sa ating bansa. Ngunit, ano nga ba ang iba't ibang opinion ng mga profesional at kapwa nating Tomasino sa nasabing issue? Sangayon ba sila sa death penalty? Uh, hindi po ako pagora sa death penalty kasi ang capital punishment ay hindi sabot, lalo na sa current administration ni Duterte, na ang sabi na war on drugs na ibabalik ang death penalty. No, two wrongs don't make a right. I am not in favor of death penalty because death penalty will only suppress human rights and the every possibility of human to change. Kasi naniniwala ko hindi siya deterrent sa crime. Kahit magkaroon ng death penalty, kita naman may mga facts na nagsusupport na hindi siya deterrent na kahit magkaroon ng death penalty, hindi pa rin bumababa yung crime rate. And so nababawasan na ng tao, hindi nababawasan ng criminal. It has been proven and tested that the death penalty law is intended principally as a deterrent. Just like any law, any crime, if you commit a crime, there's a penalty. And the reason why you impose a penalty is so that people will not do the crime. Okay? So as a deterrent, the death penalty has been proven to be ineffective. It does not deter crime. People continue to commit what they intend to commit regardless of whether or not there's a death penalty. So people who say that this is a deterrent to crime are talking uh, from the top of their heads. They don't, uh, they don't attend to studies. Mm. There is no empirical data that has uh, been presented at any time, anywhere else in the world, that the imposition of the death penalty would really huh, be a factor to ensure that crimes will be lessened in a particular community. But to my mind, um, there was a point in time when it was imposed and the crime rate has gone down. But again, it's not a clear indication that the result of the imposition of death penalty was really the cause of the reduction in crime, but probably because people are more stable insofar as their financial conditions are concerned, and society and the government had somehow been addressing the concerns and the needs of the people. 
Can you pro with that penalty? Because we badly need to improve our justice system first, and hindi siya ano hindi siya magendang influence sa legal system as well as sa social development ng kanila. We're all rooting for that penalty because uh, it uh, limits the the chance of the person to to start a new. So I, I think that every person has to be given the opportunity to, to turn a new leaf. Uh, when you take life, you cannot give it back. So I would rather that they be given the chance to uh, recover from their mistakes. About death penalty, um, ano kasi yun eh? Parang sa umpisa kasi, kung titignan mo, o oh, sige tama yan kasi madaming krimen din sa Pilipinas. Pero kung titignan mo kasi yung mga ano, yung sakop, ano ba yung ano eh, paparusahan, sino yung paparusahan ng death penalty? Ang daming, ang daming kunyari ngayon, EJK sa drugs. Pero dinidisregard yung sa, ano, yung sa women rights, yung sa rape, ganyan. Na, inalis yung rape sa death penalty, pero yung pagdating sa drugs, tinatrata tong mga tao na to bilang kriminal, pero hindi naman sila kriminal eh, may mali lang sa kanila. Dapat sila yung tinutulungan natin, pero sila yung pinapatay. Tapos tong mga tao mo lang, walang moral sa sarili mga nang rape nang aabuso ng ibang tao sila yung sila yung hindi mo paparusahan ng death penalty hindi ako pabor sa death penalty because ano di ba yung reason ng death penalty is to decrease yung crime rate pero pag kasi nag death penalty sila parang one way din yun na pag increase ng ano ng crime rate sa Philippines kung pagpatay mo ng criminal yes I, I mean pag an pag revenge mo sa tao oh, yes. patay din pag patay din saka ano parang isang way din niya na sabihin nila na weak yung government natin kasi pag, pag hindi mo na kaya solve yung isang case papatay mo na siya agad so meaning weak talaga yung government bakit okay. dahil yung mga drug lords hindi natatakot sa mga paggawa nila eh kung death penalty sigurado matatakot sila baka hindi na ulitin nila yung pagmamayong na siya buka. Um, for me, okay naman magka-death penalty. Basta tama yung pagka-implement sa death penalty. Um, kasi naman, di ba, rules are made to help regulate the citizens naman. So, for me, okay lang naman siya. Um, basta, for yung pinaka-heinous crimes na nandun na yun. Um, nakakatulong, kas, uh, nakakatulong siya kasi, one, the citizens will citizens will learn the uh, discipline, di ba? And also, it will help regulate crimes. Because, because, if that penalty will apply to every crime, it's very useless, then, because you'll end up with um, a large amount of bodies. And we want, and we want to punish the ones who do the most, ano, pinakalalat na talaga na crimes. Para it'll be an example to those who may balak talaga ng gawin. I think I'm pro that penalty. Yes. Uh, it's because that. Uh, I think it's time to impose fear uh, upon the people, the citizens of the Philippines because uh, kasi marami na ang lumalabag sa batas natin and then yung parang wala silang pake kung ano yung penalty because feeling nila makakalaya lang din sila, they can escape the penalty easily. So I think it's time to impose fear upon, upon their person so uh, hindi sila ano, mabawasan yung by analogy, you know what is happening now with the extrajudicial killings. There are people dying, especially from the marginalized sector, without with impunity. Meaning, if they find out that you're a drug pusher or a drug user, they just kill you outright without bringing you to court, without without uh, going through the procedure, and yet people continue to take drugs or people continue to commit these offenses so people are not afraid of dying or people are not afraid of imposing the death imposing death as a penalty kasi ang dami pa rin nangyayaring crimes diba eh, alam na nga natin as of now there are already 6000 people na namatay because supposedly they committed uh, drug offenses or they are, they are using drugs but still Palaki pa rin ang palaki yung dami ng tao na nanamamatay. So, 
wala walang effect ang death eh. hindi siya hindi hindi natatakot ang mga tao dahil alam nila na mamamatay sila or papatayin sila now if they're saying that they're imposing the death penalty because it's going to be effective in preventing people from committing the crime then it doesn't make sense it's not a deterrent it has been shown that it cannot deter the commission of the offenses if there's a justifiable just parang mag, if maganda yung justice system natin sige mag magpo-pro the, the death penalty ako pero sa ngayon kasi may corruption and everything sobrang dumis na ang politika and oy, parang hindi naman worth it na mamatay yung mga innocent people para lang sa para matakpan yung kasalanan ng meron tayo No, I, I'm against the re-implementation re of the death penalty in the Philippines because I strongly believe that we should improve our justice system first before implementing such laws that affects the lives of innocent ones. I would agree sa death penalty kasi hindi tamang pumatay ng tao kahit kung ano man yung kasalanan niya, labag yun sa human rights. This is a question that could be brought before the court because technically, when you just apply death penalty to a single crime, it may tantamount to class legislation. So, it could be a big issue once it's passed into law, but um, it boils down on how Congress would be able to justify the imposition. This is discrimination. Why don't you apply it to plunder? Huh? When a congressman or a senator or a president plunders the country, isn't he doing worse than a, a drug pusher uh, or a drug carrier? Because the death penalty is usually applied to uh, not to drug users, no? Uh, you don't apply the death penalty to drug users. You apply it to pushers. That means people who sell drugs. And in quite a number of countries, it is applied to people who carry drugs inside the country. Huh? Okay? Yeah. That has been the case of a number of Filipino overseas workers uh, they claim that they did not know that what somebody had uh, given them is drugs mm. they carry that drug into a country they are caught and they're executed there have been studies conducted that even if it's not drugs even if it's just uh, murder or even if it's just uh, homi uh, sorry uh, rape or hindi siya nakaka-deter ng uh, commission ng uh, crimes. And if you are going to listen to what these people, the, the legislators natin, who want to reimpose the death penalty, ang lagi lang nilang sinasabi is para mag-deter ng crime, di ba? Wala naman silang ibang justification kung bakit nila gusto i-reimpose ang death penalty eh. Kung issue lang natin, ang pag-uusapan lang natin ay whether or not the death penalty can deter crime, mukhang hindi papasa yung, hindi acceptable yung reason nila kung bakit dapat i-reimpose ang death penalty. Siyempre, ibang issue kung i-reimpose natin dyan as a sense of justice, as a sense of uh, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. Ibang level ang pag-usapan yun, no? Kasi iba yung parameters na gagamitin natin doon. Sa akin kasi, my thinking is, what is the nature of man? Is man inherently good? Is man inherently evil? Because if you tell me that man is inherently evil, and you're talking about justice, hindi tama yung logic natin na tooth for a tooth, no? Eye for an eye. Kung anong ginawa mo dun sa iba, kung nakapatay ka, dapat ka rin patay patayin. Pero if your concept of man is that man is inherently good, here from UST, you have religion subjects and you believe in the concept that man is created in the image and likeness of God, of his creator, alam natin na at the end of the day, man is good and pwede siyang i-restore from his uh, 
original and in inalienable consciousness and being. Um, Under the Constitution, we have what we call the Equal Protection Clause. In the Equal Protection Clause, there are four factors to consider. Well, the first factor should be the classification must be distinct, must be substantial. The second factor is that uh, the purpose uh, for which uh, that uh, provision of law is being adopted is to, to ensure it will meet the very purpose of the law. We call this germane to the purpose of the law. And the third factor is that it should not only apply to existing conditions, and the, the fourth factor to consider is that it should apply to the same uh, members of the same class. The thing is, uh, there are other heinous crimes which can be considered under Philippine laws, like the uh, massacre of a family, uh, beheading of individuals, crimes which may be uh, attended by ignominy, we call this ignominy, or uh, crimes which are uh, committed with other what we call aggravating circumstances which would warrant uh, a more serious penalty. Hindi ba sapat yung bigyan mo siya ng justice by kulong mo siya for, for, uh, for the rest of his life because he is a threat to society? Hindi ba siya sapat na na penalty na why do you have to impose the death penalty that, that that's my 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 thinking that's why from the very from the very beginning i have not i have disagreed to death penalty documentary. Kulang yung one month talaga sa school. One month of school para ma-conduct yung whole documentary. Kasi ang hassle talaga ng schedule natin. Kasi parang, you know, sa respondent, mahirap yung schedule din nila, yung petas natin. Yun. And, uh, and even kami bad students na kaya yung katulad mong ginagawa na yung mga edit na social maganda. Pero nandito naman si Grace. So, kahit HA students kami, uh, kinaya pa rin namin yung mga teta na ganito. Tapos nalaman din namin na even though USD sa Catholic University, may mga students pa rin na pro-death penalty sila. And napaka-interesting na mga opinions din akong maririnig nyo. And hindi, sa isang tumasya, hindi namin na-expect yung na-pro sila or against sila. And yun, ang interesting na. Pagkatapos, um, yung sa mga na-interview namin, napansin din namin yung uh, mga si yung mga answers nila parang parehas lang sila hindi sila nagkakahiwalay most of them are like against diba wala wala silang like, wala nag middle ground sa kanila and kasi yung uh, sa mga katin ko kasi yung katin yung paggawa ng questions kasi nila ang ganda parang yun nga naibigay agad yung lahat ng information na kailangan na hindi bias talaga go lang Ah, uh, kasi yung iba, ayaw magpakita ng mga sa documentary kasi they want privacy. Baka kasi pag nakita ng ibang tao, ay, majorge sila na, ay, yung opinion nila. Hmm. True. And feeling ko naging successful itong documa documentary na ito. Kasi nakita namin yung iba ibang perspective ng mga tumasyan, ng mga attorney at saka ng mga priest. So, I would just echo kung ano yung sinabi kanina ni Grace na hindi sapat yung one month. We think that two months would be, have been better para sa pag-film ng documentary natin. Ano? Medyo magastos. Ah, uh, yeah, sobrang medyo magastos siya kasi may mga iba kami mga interviewee. Interviewees na malayo pa yung lugar, like yung sa tito ni Lexi, sa, sa ano nga yun? Carmen Castle. Sa city pa yun. So nag-grab kami sa mahal. Ayun, yung mga tokens din. Yung tokens. Ayun. Hindi nga namin alam kung gusto ba ni Father yung chocolate cake eh. <laughs> Tapos ngayon, ang nasaya, pag yung sa mga, yung tumasyang priest, ang gagaling nilang sa tumasyang priest. 
Isa lang. Ganun yung sumagot. <laughs> yun, kahit yung mga ibang respondents, yun, nakaka-amaze yung mga sagot nila. Tapos parang mapapatama ka na lang talaga sa sobrang... Sa parang naiisip mong mag-agree ka ba or hindi sa mga sinasabi nila. Yun. So hindi lang siya naging basta documentary kasi ako mismo, na bagay perspective ko. Perspective ko kasi gusto ko talaga yung death penalty. So yun, na-amaze ako sa perspective ng attorney, yung tito ni Lexi, kasi na-explain niya talaga na mabuti sa amin and nakakatawa yun. Kasi very convincing yung mga opinions nila. Sa technical aspect talaga yung mahirap talaga kasi estudyante kami. We don't have the right equipment, the camera or whatever. Kasi ako kaya pangit ng audio. Na-explain ko na po ngayon. Sino mo po nanonood nito? Asensya na sa pangit na audio. Ako lang po isang hamak na estudyante ng HA. Hindi po ako mad. Yun lang. Tapos, um, overall, participation ng buong group. Okay naman tayo. Wala ang problema. Wala yung, uh, parang yung nakikiride on lang. What? Sa mga projects. Tapos, um, ang masaya. Yung mga taga, yung faculty of law ba yun? Yung, or, uh, ay kayo, ipakasama ko na, faculty of law. Tapos yun sa mga polsay, yung may nag-contra dun eh, sasagot talaga nila, pero parang parehas lang. Conflicted pa kasi mostly lahat ng tao dun sa death penalty kasi hindi pa natin alam kung ano mangyayari. Yung, kasi hindi pa nga daw stable yung justice system natin. Yung pa lang yung sinasabi nila. And may kita nyo sa mga in-interview namin na gusto gusto talaga nila ipakita yung opinion nila. Kaso siguro meron something na parang gusto nilang itago. Siguro dahil we're under a Catholic University. Ano, yung maganda lang sa, research, sa documentary natin is para nakita natin yung opinions ng mga iba-ibang tao. Like, merong mga nagtrabaho sa government, merong mga nag-aaral, mga students, may mga pare. So, nakita natin yung mga pagkakaiba at yung pagkakaparehas ng mga sagot nila. As of right now nga, yung issue na tinatakal namin, timely ngayon sa Pilipinas. So, uh, feel nga namin, makakatulog talaga yung documentary namin sa mga, uh, kunyari, mga senior high, magbibigay kami ng information na hindi lang naka, makikita sa mga news articles or sa Facebook, yun, at, at least yung documentary namin, pinapakita talaga namin yung what's real and magbibigay pa kami ng more information para ma, ano nga yung background nila sa death penalty. Bye, senior high!